Uh, guys, first off, I guess, what we were all coming out of this game most proud of, obviously the goal is to win, but what were some like either team goals or personal goals y'all have for each other? Just to play hard, you know. Um, I think the biggest thing uh, looking from FBS to FCS, even S SEC, and not even that, pretty much the number one team in the nation is just like, don't flinch. You know, they're going to hit you in the mouth, but what are you going to do after, after they hit you in the mouth? So I, I think looking at our team, um, we didn't really flinch. We didn't back down. Um, the scoreboard says otherwise, but you know, looking in our locker room, uh, how we came in in halftime, uh, we didn't flinch. You know, and, and we we wanted to go back out there. We wanted to finish the game. Uh, we didn't really back down. So looking at a team like that, it, it's something to really be proud of. Tim, you had FBS experience at Liberty. How did how did Georgia compare? It doesn't compare. It doesn't compare. Uh, football is different in Georgia. Uh, I think a lot of people know that. Uh, high school and, and uh, college, you know, walking out here and seeing the stadium, you know, even riding on the bus like to here, like all the fans on the sideline or on the on the streets just looking at us. You know, we're an FCS team, so I, I couldn't imagine what it's like when another big team rolls down here. Spencer, you were a big South Ohio Valley Conference freshman of the week this past week. Um, and obviously, great performance in Middle Tennessee. When you have, see those big guys coming at you when you're trying to punt the ball away, what was going through your head? Um, yeah, so for me, I had a I had a game plan. I wasn't trying to you know, sometimes do what I ended up doing, and then um, like I found myself kicking the wrong kick, and then all of a sudden got a return, and like that was the first punt again, and um, that did floss me a little bit. But um, I think in the end, personally, I did I did okay. Like um, you know, it would have been nice to you know, be better as a team, but I think um, I think my second half was alright. With the first two games being FBS programs and now going back into FCS the rest of the way, uh, does that kind of give you a little bit of relief and kind of know like this this is what I'm going to normally see on a daily basis? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think at practice I usually I'm usually better than the way I've been. And, uh, I know I know I'm better than the way I've been playing, so it's it's going to be good to play against the yeah, same level of competition. Aiden, just talk about that defense. I mean, I'm trying trying to get open looks against that defense. I was tough. Yeah, it, it definitely is. A, it's definitely an experience. You know, the bigger guys like Coach Waters said, it's unmatched right there. You walk up to them and they're towering over you. You know, I mean, you can control what you can control. Just keep running your feet. Offensive line is going to do what they can, and you're just going to find the hole, split the gap, and run as hard as you can. I mean, it, it's a crazy, crazy experience running against Georgia's defense. As a team, how are you feeling going into the bye week before conference play starts? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm really looking forward to TSU. Uh, going into the bye week, getting this little rest that we're going to get, and then a uh, full week of practice, and then a full week of practice going into TSU, starting some conference play. I mean, it's been really, really exciting. All right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.